Hello, I'm James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. We'll start that timer and we're going to talk about the doubling rules for triads in SATB format. So remember SATB, soprano, alto, tenor, bass, considered four voice uh, or chorale style. Each voice has to have its own space. Now we're going to talk about how to voice some chords in SATB format and to do so we're going to use some examples in C major. I'm going to start by writing a tonic triad in C major in root position. So for root position triads, uh, I'm going to try to use the space here in the middle of the staff. I'll use RP to stand for root position. The root is doubled. I'll put root DBL. That <laughs> was not very successful. Let's try that again. Root doubled. So you always double the root, which will also be the base because the definition of root position is where the base is the root. So for root position triads, you double the root, and that doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter which triad you're uh, working with. It's always going to be as long as it's in root position. That's going to be the root that's doubled. Let's take a look at a first inversion triad. We'll take the same chord, and I'll show you that the doubling rules are quite a bit different for first inversion. So this is a tonic six chord, first inversion tonic chord in C major. Now notice what I doubled was the G here. In a first inversion triad, we'll put first, you can double anything. I'll write it and then I'll erase it. Double anything. So that means you can double the root, the third, the fifth, anything. What matters is where that doubled note happens. There's a hierarchy of strong to weak doublings for first inversion. And I'm going to clear some space so that I can write this because this is pretty important. If you ever talk to any of my students who have been through, uh, through my class, I ask them, what's the doubling rule for first inversion triads? And they always tell me, "Spoy," which doesn't really mean anything, of course, by itself. But this is the, um, the doubling hierarchy for first inversion triads, S-B-O-I. So your strongest doubling is to be uh, doubling the soprano doubles an inner voice. So either the tenor or the alto. It's usually better to double the tenor because if you double the alto that can present some problems, but it's still strong doubling. If you cannot double the soprano with an inner voice, you try to double the bass with an inner voice. Bass with inner. So that's, that's our hierarchy. You always approach first inversion triads by starting to try to double the soprano with an inner voice. If you can't, then you try to double the bass with an inner voice. If you can't do that, then you double the outer voices. And if you can't do that, the last resort is to double the inner voices. You almost never have to go that far to where you have to double the inner voices. That's the weakest doubling possible. So when I'm grading um, papers from music theory students, when I see that they didn't go through their Savoy checklist when they're writing a first inversion triad, then um, I'll usually mark them down down for that. So here's these, this tonic six chord. I'll rewrite it and you'll see how I've doubled. I doubled the fifth, which also happens to be the soprano and the tenor. So that's our S doubling, the strongest one possible. Now we're going to take the same chord and we're going to put it in second inversion. Um, let's do it like this. There's many ways to voice this. I'm just using these as examples. So here's a 6-4 chord, that same C major in 6-4 position. Whenever we're in second inversion, you always double the fifth. The fifth will always be the bass because that's the definition of second inversion. When you're in second inversion, you always double the bass, which happens to be the G in this chord. The fifth, the bass, it's the same thing. So just whatever you want to call it, it's always going to be that that's doubled. So a quick uh, review here. Root position's pretty easy to remember. You always double the root in a root position triad. Um, and uh, again, the root's going to be in the bass because it's in root position. First inversion is the trickiest of them. You can double any chord member. What matters is where it's doubled. Follow SBOI, soprano, bass, outer, inner, SBOI. Soprano with an inner, bass with an inner, outer, inner. That's your hierarchy. It takes a little while to get that committed to memory, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you and strengthen your part writing significantly if you can remember that. And then second inversion triads, 6-4 chords. 
Um, they're quite a bit different than the others. We'll have a video which addresses them specifically, but the doubling rule for 6-4 chords is to double the bass, which also happens to be the fifth. Thank you. <laughs>